Hello and welcome to another video by Prof. Paul B. Today we are going to look at inheritance in Java and more specifically we're going to look at inheritance uh, using the, our robot friends that we've been uh, looking at in the past little while. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a, ro a my robot class and this my robot class is going to be extending uh, the robot class that comes from the Becker package. Okay, so we're going to be doing that today. That just and and we'll be doing one more thing, is we're going to be adding an instance method to this uh, my robot class so that we can call the method like we're, just like we're calling the turn left. We're actually going to be creating a method called turn right, and uh, you could create any kind of instance method you want. We're going to be creating one called turn right and we're going to simulate turning right by turning left three times. Okay, So let's get started. I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to start typing in public class my robot extends. Here's the magic keyword is extends. Okay extends robot and I'm going to open and close. The extends means that this class is going to be a child class of the robot class. So the robot class is going to be a parent class or the super class in Java. We tend to use the word super. Okay. So before I continue, we see there's no... Um, I'm going to save this file. I'm going to save it in just my temp and I'm going to call it my robot.java. I've done this before. Yes, I'm going to replace. Okay, so now we see we've got the nice color coding. The editor knows it's a Java file. So everything is good. So first thing we do, let's see if we can compile. Oh, it does not compile. Yeah, let's see, cannot find symbol class robot. Okay, so we have the robots in red, but it cannot find the class what we're we're missing something is we're missing this import statement. So let's copy that and go here and we'll paste it here. And now let's now let's see if Java's happy. No, nope, it's still not happy. Public class. Oh let's see what do we have here? Cannot find symbol constructor robot. Okay, well let's look at our documentation for the uh, robot constructor and um, let's go see, let's go see let's go see, where is it? Okay. So here we have, let's take a look at the robot. We're going, right now we're drilling down to the robot class. So these are all the, ro all the classes in the package, becker.robots. Right now we want to specifically look at the robot class and here are the constructors. So we have two constructors. One will construct a robot given a city, street, avenue, and direction. This will construct a robot at the given location in the given city with nothing in the backpack. And we have an overloaded constructor. We have another one uh, that accepts one additional parameter called num things, which is an int, and that'll actually create the robot at a given location with a certain number of things in the backpack. But we're going to use the first one. So what's happening here basically is uh, right now I'm saying I'm extending the robot class, but um, there is no constructor, there's no default constructor, constructor with an empty parameter. So what I have to do is I have to actually um, uh, supply Java with the information that it needs to actually build the parent object within the child object, loosely speaking. But really, so what I have to do is I have to create a constructor myself for, for my robot and how do I do that? So I do public 
Remember, the constructor is a special type of method. It has the same name as the class. My rot is not quite right. My robot and uh, public my robot. It has the same name as the class, and there's no return type. Okay, so let's just do this. Okay, so now we have the framework for our constructor. But if we try to compile, it says it says cannot find simple constructor robot. So remember the constructor had one, two, three, four parameters. So what we are going to do, we are going to ask, I just copied it, we're going to ask for the same parameters when we're building our my robot. Okay? And what we're going to do with this, what we have to do is we have to actually, there's a special keyword in Java called super, and that always refers to the parent class or the base class. So what I want to do is I want to pass to super all these parameters that are coming into my constructor. So here, this is the definition of a method of this constructor. So in the definition, you have to have the type as well. But here, I'm actually calling the constructor of, of super. And super, in this case, is robot. So when I'm calling a constructor, right now, it's just like I was building. I was creating a new instance of the robot class. So uh, when, I'm, when I'm actually calling the constructor, I do not need the type. And actually, the type would give me an error. So I have to take out the type and put in my semicolon. So now let's compile. And we have quite a few errors. So let's take a look at what the errors are. A semicolon expected. Uh, do, 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 do for line four, public my robot. I think I have one. Yeah, I think I had one too many. OK, let's try it again. Oh, one more error. Super, I, oh, I think I still have that extra close bracket. Well, I don't know where that came from. Okay, see, now it's, now it's compiling. So there's a lot going on. It, it really seems weird the first time you look at this, but what's happening is, remember, when we're, when we're extending a, a class, we have to make sure that Java has enough information to create the base class when our class is being created. So right now, by creating this um, constructor called, called my robot with these one, two, three, four parameters, and then you calling the uh, base class or the super classes constructor using the four parameters that are being sent in, we're guaranteeing Java the, that uh, yeah we know we know that the base class knows needs these four parameters to 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 get created and here we are we're passing along four parameters to get created okay a note in passing we could hard code this Java as long as we have an int an int no a city sorry an int an int and a direction Java is happy but what we want to do is we want our my robot to be as flexible as the robot so that's why the my robot can actually, um, that's why we created a constructor with the same signature as the robot constructor. And then we just pass each individual parameter to the base class to build the, um, to build the base, the, the, the robot that's part, that's uh, the, uh, the parent. Okay. So now I'm going to go here and it's just a little container application or the client code, if you will. And it just it doesn't do anything really all it does it creates a um, I already have my robot so luckily <laughs> okay so it creates an instance of my robot but here what I'm going to do I'm going to save this as I'm going to just go up one level and yes I'm going to replace that okay so what I want to do first is show you when we're creating an instance of the robot class, and we have them showing up there. Okay, so that's using the robot. Now, if I want to use the my robot, I have to specify the type as being my robot, and I want to use the my robot constructor. Okay, so now if we see that, if we compile, compiles, if we run, 
it runs. Okay, it doesn't do anything. It starts, but it creates the robot. So the act, the actual drawing of this uh, robot icon here and everything is handled by the base class, and it's through this super um, method call that we're passing. But super with nothing, that's actually calling the constructor of the base class. Okay. So now I'm going to create my um, uh, my method. And remember, I wanted to be called method public uh, turn right and open and closing brace. And all I'm going to do here is I could do a four, but just save on time. I'm going to do turn left. I'm going to say actually a special keyword called this. This dot turn left. Oops. This always refer and always refers to this instance of the object. Okay, so let's try this out. So that um, public up. Oh, this is not a constructor, so we do have to put a return type. See, return type required. Okay, so the job is happy. So now if we go here, we have guy, which is uh, my robot. So what if we try to do guy dot Turn right. Okay. And now we see that if we run it, the guy turns right by turning left three times. Okay. So what we did is we created a class called my robot. We extended the robot class, so that means the my robot is a child of the robot class. And uh, all we did is is we put a constructor a, with four uh, parameters, one for city, one for street, one for avenue, and one for direction. And then we just all we did was we passed the in, the parameters to super, so that super can actually create the instance of the robot for us. And what we did is we created a um, a method. An, an, ins, an instance method. It's a public method, so it's an instance method, and it, there's no static. And what we did is we called this dot turn left three times. So that means that this instance of the robot is going to turn left three times. And we went into our little test application, and we created a variable. Uh, actually, we created an instance of our my robot class called guy. The variable is guy. That that's holding the object. We're saying the type is my robot, and we're using the my robot constructor. So guy is a my robot, and to test it out, we had guy dot turn right. And just just to show you, we still have all of. Remember, we're inheriting all of the methods from the base class, so or the super class. So we can do things like this: guy dot turn move, guy, not guy dot turn move, guy dot move, guy dot move and guy dot turn left so we can still do everything that the base class does but now we can do one extra thing I forgot the guy we can do one extra thing that we added is we added the turn right and that's something very typical that what you're going to do is you're, you're going to um, see so did that when you're creating a child class or when you're subclassing, when you're extending, usually what, you, what you're doing is you are using a base class that has functionality that you want, but you want to add to that function, functionality or slightly modify that functionality. And that's where uh, inheritance just shines. It's, it's a great tool. Well, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for our next, uh, next video.